Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a Ghost Catcher game on Scratch. So this is really easy. So mine's called Ghostbusters. So let's play. So as you can see, we got the timer and we got this light. We could move it with our mouse pointer. And we just need to find the ghost and then click on it. And it will fade away. We need to find all the ghosts. So as I said, this is really easy to make, so let's jump into the video. So the first thing you need to do is open the starter project and we got 4 sprites, the ghost with the ghost. And we got this light with the light 1 and light 2. And then we got the text and our thumbnail and on the backdrop we got our backdrop. So let's start coding. So first I'll be showing you how to code our ghost. So click on the thumbnail sprite and let's hide it. And the light too. And the text. So now we got the ghost and our backdrop. So when green flag clicked, we need to hide. And then let's make some variables called timer. All sprites, levels for all sprites, and a variable called click for all sprites, and ghost for all sprites. Now let's just hide all of these, and I want to set my timer to 100. And at the first, we need to set our level to 1. And set our click variable to 0 and set our goes to level plus 1. So if it's the first level, there will be 2 ghosts, and if it's the second level, it will be 3 ghosts. It just adds 1 to the level. So you could change this the amount of you need if it is at 5. So it's your wish. And then we need to set our ghost effect to 0 and click on motion, set rotational style to left and right and we need to broadcast a new message called start. So when I receive start, we need to just duplicate this block and place it here and we need to repeat duplicate we need to go to random position and we need to point in direction we need to pick random to 0 to 180 and then we need to create clone of myself so when I start as a clone, click on my blocks and make a block called move. And then drag this when I start as a clone move. And now let's define this move block. So at the start we need to show set our ghost effect to zero and grab this forever loop. We need to turn right, we need to pick random from negative 3 to 3. And then we need to move, grab the plus operator, and grab this ABS and change it to SQRT. SQRT of level plus 1 and this grab this block if on edge bounce 
So now I can see we got moving ghost. So now go for events. When this part is clicked, grab this if click equals one. So if click equals one, we need to set our ghost effect to zero. Repeat 10, we need to change our ghost effect by 10. And then we need to change our ghost variable by negative 1. And make a new variable called ghost found for all sprites. And then we need to change ghost found by one and then we need to delete this clone and now let's code our level system so when I receive start we need to forever if ghost equals zero then we need to change level by one and then we need to broadcast start and we need to stop this script okay that's it for our ghost so now let's code our light so for that click on light and you will see two costume the original one and our size hat costume so when green flag click we need to go to x00 and set our rotational style to don't rotate and we need to point in direction 90 and then we need to hide and then we need to switch costume to flashlight 2 which is this and then set size to 200 and then we need to switch back to our original costume. And then we need to set our ghost effect to 100. And show. Grab a forever loop. And we need to go to mouse pointer. So this size hack is that if we switch costume to this, for now I'll just show, now set size to 100 and when I just change it to 200, so scratch doesn't allow you to change it more than 100. You can see I just set size to 200 but scratch just set it to 126. To fix this we just switch a smaller costume and then set size to 200 you can see it's 200 right now and then we'll switch back to our original so now you can see our size is 200 so now when I receive start grab this if statement if direction equals 90 We need to repeat 50. We need to change our ghost effect by negative 2. And then we need to point in direction negative 90. And set click to 1. So, okay, now let's test our game. So now I can see we got this fade in animation. And now we could click on the ghost, our ghost disappears. And now you can see now we on level 2 we got 3 ghosts. And when we click all the ghosts in each level it just increases the number of ghosts. So our ghost and light works. So now I'll be showing you how to code our thumbnail and our text as well as our timer. So the first thing you need to do is click on backdrop. So let's code our timer first. So when I receive start, we need to show variable time. And 
and we need to hide where your fur goes found. And grab this forever. We need to wait 0 0.50 seconds. And we need to change time by negative 1. And grab this if statement. So if our timer equals 0, then we need to broadcast time out. So let's broadcast a new message called timeout and then we need to stop this script and now when I receive timeout we need to hide variable time and then we need to show variable ghost found just let's add this wait one second and change this to 0 0.50 and then we need to show variable ghost found and now click on the light and when I receive timeout so I'll just minimize the screen so when I receive timeout we need to set click to 0 repeat 50 Grab this repeat 50. We need to change our ghost effect by 2. And we need to point in direction 9. So now click on variables and check this timer variable. And right click and select large reader and we just place it on the center. So can always code our text. So when green flag clicked. We need to hide variable ghost found and then we need to set ghost found to zero and we need to set our ghost effect to 100. Show and go to X10 and Y20. So when I receive time out, we need to wait one second and we need to repeat 20 change our ghost effect by negative 5 and now let's go to thumbnail so click on thumbnail and when green flag click forever we need to reset the timer and when green flag click we need to go to front layer go forward and just add some zeros and then we need to set our ghost effect to 100 and this go events when loudness change this to timer then our timer is greater than 0.00, .00. One, then we need to hide variable ghost found and duplicate and we need to hide variable timer. So okay now let's test our game. So now what you need to do is just minimize the screen, right click on this ghost found and select large readout and just place it over here. Now you can see it's correct and also our thumbnail. And make sure you show the thumbnail and now you can see our thumbnail works. So now let's add some sound effects. So click on ghost and when this part is clicked if click equals 1 we need to start sound out and click on stage when green flag clicked forever we need to play sound music until done so okay now let's test our game so now I can see how everything works
so our Ghostbuster game works. So you could add many improvements for this game for just this has only a timer you could set a high score or like add a challenge like in this timer you should find this much of ghost so you could add many things you want so if you like this video make sure to give it a like and if you want to get more of this from this channel make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you won't miss any videos and if you find this video useful or interesting make sure to share it with your friends so see you with another awesome and spooky scratch tutorial